us to follow him. Shall we follow Zack? There, there's literally no other leads now that we've failed to protect her again. God, and I need to, I, I just changed my suit and I like how it's like I need another one already. Diane, why? Oh, Diane. Her mind was clearly like I don't know if she knew what she was doing or if she was, like, completely lost it. But she was talking about the piece in a strange way, completely oblivious to the fact that her tongue had been bitten out. But then she did grab Emily as if tried to pull her and tried to pull her under. called an ambulance but I know keep an eye on George and Nick we might still need it make sure no one touches Diane's body either <laughs> York I can still feel her hand Emily it's okay just try and calm down I'm going after Willie you just take it easy here okay York Well, I was going to talk to George. <laughs> Diane, we did what we could, but we still lost her. It wasn't all your fault, George, but it was partially your fault. I'll go see what Willie wants to show us. I'll leave the rest here to you. Yes, yeah, okay. The blood goes this way, but Willie's leading me this way. What's up, Willie? Pooch, I've been following you. I don't really know why they're making me follow you like this. I can see that there's been a lot of blood and a lot of dragging of bodies. I'm gonna guess Forrest might be dead too. Because why else would Willie be here?
Ah, the bathroom. Or the bedroom. But it looks like the blood leads into the bathroom. Okay, open up. I know that there are more important things happening right now, but we can't be having our FBI agent looking all scruffy, can we? So we'll take a chance to shave. We got paid for shaving. And I guess we'll switch suits because this one is a... Uh... Okay. Now then, what did we find? Um, I was expecting evidence. So, Willie, did you have something to show me? There's a door hidden behind this. on his cheek. Where's Diane? And what are you doing here? I was going to ask you the same thing. Well, let's just say I have my reasons, you know, pri private reasons. I don't really have to tell you, do I? Actually, you do. Diane just died a moment ago. What? You're not just a key witness now. You're now a suspect. And you need to tell me exactly what you were doing here. Well, I just... I just came here to talk with Diane. To have a conversation. And I suppose that kiss mark on your cheek is from your conversation. This was just a spur-of-the-moment thing. Which is exactly what killed Diane. Okay, I came here to be with Diane. Are you happy now? We've been together before, a, a, a couple times. It's one of the reasons why I like coming to this town, see? This time is no different. I, I, I bumped into her in a bar in Seattle. I had some, some holiday coming up. Well, so, so I just took it and I drove her back here. So that was the woman that, I okay. A wife, you know, but, but we've been separated for a while. We're going through a divorce right now, and, and I don't want her lawyer finding out. Anyway, how could I kill Diane if I was in a room locked from the outside? Two hours ago, me and Diane drinking upstairs we were you know enjoying ourselves then nick had to show up well then diane had a sudden change of heart she locked me up in here
so I let Willie hear out through the window. Then you showed up instead of Diane. What a good boy. Zach, Diane has become the third victim of our killer. And nada from questioning Nick. Nothing. Got no new leads from questioning Nick. He's taken the death of Diane really badly. In shock, the works. He claims to have liked talking with her about art. But he also had a problem with her views about men. He says that they argued, but not at a level that would lead to a murder. They were about to head out to the bar again together. But while he was waiting for Diane, someone knocked him out cold. He has no idea who it was either. Of course, Kaysen looks like a prime suspect. But that door was locked from the outside. There was no other way in or out of that room. Which means there is no evidence of his involvement at this time. He did say something else. The footsteps he heard outside the room were not heels, but a man's boots. And Nick was wearing boots. But now that Diane's dead, no one can back up Nick's statement. Which is why we have Nick in custody and have to let Kaysen go free. That seemed like the only option, at least for now. One more thing, Zach. George looked terribly depressed. I guess this case is really getting to him. He's really responsible for the deaths of Becky and Diane. Take his rules and confidence away from him. Wonder what's left. Well, of course, he'd still have muscle. I'm surprised I didn't die. Rest in peace, Diane. So who who do I think the suspect is? Carol seems like a good suspect. You know who else is kind of suspicious to me? As weird as it is? Sally, Anna's mom. She's a little suspicious too. Because it seems like it's a, it, based on the profiling here, it was a woman and not a man. Zach, let's get back to the hotel. First Anna, then Becky, now Diane. I'm not looking forward to writing this investigation report. Agent Morgan, York, do you have a moment? What is it, George? There's something I'd like to talk to you about. Do you have any time later? Can't we just do it here? If possible, I'd like to go to a bar. Of course, we don't really have to. A bar? Now that sounds like a good idea. Zach, what do you think? We can go drinking with George, or turn him down and head back to the hotel. Let's go for a drink. George, that scar on your cheek. Where did you get it? This? Didn't I tell you? Well, it's not from work. I got it when I was a kid. A childhood injury. Tree climbing? I used to get a few scrapes myself climbing the big tree in our backyard. I used to climb it a lot. And fall out of it a lot. <laughs> this wasn't anything like that, though. It was my mother. She did it. I'm sorry, George. Don't worry. It's ancient history. The world is flooded with unreasonable violence. The strong overpower the weak, adults over children, men over women, and criminals over their victims. I have no memories of my father. He left before I knew him. My mother would hit me every time I asked why. Stop there. If I ate too slow, left my shoes scattered around, TV volume too loud, she found reasons to hit me. Hit me bad. The worst was what she called the tree punishment. She'd whip my back with these thin tree branches like a whip. George. 
tree punishment was definitely the worst, I tell you. Just hearing those words used to make me shiver and want to pass out. And that's why I didn't want to show you those scars on my back. Every time after the tree punishment, she'd always say the same thing. This is hurting the tree more than it is hurting you. And me, being a naive, dumb kid, I believed her. I went to the woods to apologize to the trees. I kept asking myself, why is she hurting me this way? I thought long and hard about it. In the end, I just figured I'm weaker than her. That's why. It's the law of Mother Nature at work. The strong eat the weak. But now, you have the power to protect the weak. That's right. Perhaps I should thank my mother for guiding me into this line of work. York. I've been an arrogant fool, haven't I? And if it weren't for me, both Becky and Diane would still be alive. I could have saved them both. You know, it's almost like they died because of me. You Becky, your mind. yes. Diane, I invited you to this maybe bar not. For a drink. But I guess this bar is my confession chamber. And I wanted you to listen. And to tell you, well, you must already hate me for causing all these problems not following your orders york i'm sorry i'll follow your orders from now on you'll have my total cooperation george you've been as cooperative as you can be you even invited an fbi guy to a bar for drinks you've done a good job protecting this town and the folks here respect you for that nobody can blame you for anything Thanks. I do feel a little better. Well. So let's organize our thoughts. All right. I think that's where we're going to call it. Hello, Carol. Hey, Carol. Becky is dead. Diane, too. We've got Nick in custody as a suspect. Nick didn't do it. Uh, I know. Carol, you took a locket from Diane, didn't you? A locket with this mark on it. You're just going to let her walk away. She can't keep getting away with it. But you should be able to see her back in this dress, it looks like.
Well, we saw her see her back right there, and it is uh, not tattooed. A diva in her own boss at her age. Quite impressive, character wise. A stark contrast to her brother Thomas. Hmm. I noticed that Thomas isn't working the bar either. Things are definitely picking up and moving in a not so good direction. <laughs> I hope she's not next, because it seems like it's all young women that are being targeted right now. And the only people that... Carol's one of the only people left that still fits that... That spot, yeah? No. Hope you all enjoy what remain little bit remains of your week... Your weekends, and I will see you later. Sorry to keep you waiting, boys. I don't know what's happening. What? Wait, what's happening in this game? What's happening in the game right now? Let's forget work for a bit and drink a little, shall we? York? Why is she here? I just thought the more the merrier. You know, to relax and get loose. Is this a problem? No, of course not. Pardon me, Emily, but I'm pumped. I think I'll just call it a night. George, I just got here and you're walking out on me? I was hoping the three of us could have a drink and let out a little steam. I'm afraid I've already had enough. And I already had a good man to man with York. So I'll see you guys. George likes you, but he's avoiding you all at the same time. <laughs> How astute. There's a reason? Nothing worth going into. It's a thing of the past. <laughs> okay. He did ask me out when I first came to town. I was still in high school. I never really considered him my type. And there's the age gap thing, too. I respect him, of course. I wouldn't have taken this job otherwise. So, did you move to this town alone? Of course not. I came with my parents. Tell me about them, then. Sure, why not? My dad dealt in stocks in New York. He was hardly at home when I was a kid, always working. Those pieces of paper were far more important to him than I was. Which is no different now, really. I, I don't see much of him. My mother? Totally different story. A wonderful person that I still respect. She was always kind and understanding. Not only that, but she would always help me find my way. She could be fierce, too, scolding me if I took a wrong step. We had our battles, sure, but... She was a wonderful mother. Past tense? Yeah, she's gone now. Cancer, just before I graduated high school. She gave this to me just before she died. 
I take it with me wherever I go. It's what I treasure most. Is that a leaf? I'm sure she's very proud of you. See, I was like, I was getting, I was getting just about ready to close the stream, and then. I had a good time tonight. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye, Emily. York. Yes. Please don't lie to us, okay? I won't. Don't worry. I won't. She does look nice in her dress. And she's gone. Okay. <laughs> I... Uh, I was getting ready. I was... I had the rain queued up. I had said my goodbyes and everything, and then I just hear <laughs> Emily in the background. I'm like, okay, something's happening, because I left the game running. Okay, let's try the let's try the uh, the raid one more time. <laughs> 